Welcome, and we are in the Himalayas of Nepal. Behind me is a yak pen. Yaks have helped make the lives of the people in this area just a little bit easier. As you can tell, the conditions in this area is really rough. Yaks are native to the Tibetan t Plateau, but now they can be found here in Nepal, Mongolia, and Central Asia. Just like all plants and animals, yaks have special adaptations to help them survive in this climate. Yaks thrive between 14,000 and 20,000 feet high. The air this high up is very thin, so yaks have special adaptations to help them take in more oxygen. Their lungs are three times as big as a normal cow. They also have an extra large chest and heart, allowing them to breathe at a faster pace. Yaks have more and smaller red blood cells, which help deliver oxygen to all parts of the body quickly. They thrive in the cold region in the mountains, alpine meadows, and open hills like what you see behind me. They like weather that is colder than 59 degrees Fahrenheit. If it gets warmer than that, they get heat exhaustion very easily. Yaks are related to buffalo and bison. However, they are much more hairy. Yaks have thick woolly hair and in the winter even an extra underlayer of down as part of their coat. This adaptation protects them in super cold temperature. Their thick hair also allows them to swim in almost frozen water without getting cold. Although yaks are the biggest mammals to live in the highest region of the world, they're actually herbivores. So our friend Noah wanted to know about what yaks eat. So Noah, as you can see behind me, yaks graze on grass. They eat grass and weed and plants, flowers, anything that they can find on the ground. In the winter when the ground is frozen and covered with snow, yaks have two specific adaptations to help them find food. First, yaks have rough tongues to lick moss and lichen off rocks. Second, yaks have dense, solid horns to break through snow and ice to forage for plants and dig for tubers and bulbs. At this altitude, sometimes the water gets frozen very easily and so they have to break through the ice to get to the water below. The domesticated yaks here are allowed to roam freely and go wherever they want in these mountains. Yaks have developed another adaptation, suitable hooves, to help them navigate treacherous and varied terrains from marshy meadows to rocky steep mountainsides. They are very keen on the weather. They can sense the incoming weather. And when they sense that there is a storm coming, they come back down off the mountains and back to the village so that they can have shelter in a barn like this when the storm comes. Yaks live from 15 to 20 years. You can tell the age of a yak by looking at the rings around the base of its horn. Each ring represents one year of age. When a yak becomes five years old, it's now considered an adult and is ready to make a family of its own. Yaks come in three colors. There's two of them back here, brown and black. They also come in white and a mixture of white and black. Did you know that yaks only refer to the boy or male animal? The female or girl animal is called a knack. Yak, knack. They rhyme. Now you can tell the difference between a yak and a knack by three different ways. First, their size. Yaks are a lot bigger than knacks. Secondly, their horns. Yaks have bigger horns and knacks have smaller and thinner horns. And finally, and the easiest way to tell is to look at the length of the hair around their belly. Yaks have long hair, but knacks have shorter hair around their bellies. Domesticated yaks provide many basic needs for the people in this area. First, 
Knack milk is used to make butter, cheese, and butter tea, which is rich in calories to help fend off the cold. This is cheese made from knack milk, not yak, because knack is the female version, right? And now I'm going to use it on my spaghetti. Yak meat is eaten and can be made into jerky. In the springtime, yak hair is cut and can be braided into ropes or woven into blankets, scarves, and clothing. It can even be used to make tents. Once a yak dies, its hide can be used to make shelters, bags, and boots. Yak bones can be turned into jewelry and tools such as tent fastenings. Most importantly, yaks are used to transport goods and materials throughout the mountains. They make excellent pack animals because they are sturdy, sure-footed, and strong. Yaks can carry 150-pound packs up mountain passes with no problem. As you've seen, yaks are such vital animals to this part of the world. Living in this harsh landscape, the people of this area use everything from the yak, even their poop. Yak dung. Yak dung is first collected and then made into patties or thinner slices, kind of like hamburger patties. Then they're left out in the sun to dry. Depending on, on what season it is, sometimes it might take up to one whole month for the yak dung to harden completely to be used for fuel. Collecting yak dung is a tedious and difficult job. Villagers use these baskets to carry on their back. They have to scour the mountains in high altitude looking for yak dung wherever they are, on the trail, off the trail. Once they collect enough, then they have to carry all the way down here to store and to lay out to dry. Look at this beautiful mound of yak dung. So now, once the yak dung is completely dried, it will be used as fuel to heat up this furnace right here. Oh. It is so hard. Do you see that? How hard that is? <laughs> Miss Boo can't even pull it apart. There we go. It takes a little bit of time for the dung to heat up and start burning, but once it, once it burns, it will burn for about two to three hours, and it creates a lot of heat. The heat is then used for cooking, um, heating water, look at this big giant kettle, and of course, to create warmth for our body. We also use the heat to dry clothes, like socks or towels, and shirt. So there are so many uses for um, the yak dung. Here's what a fresh piece of yak dung looks like. The yaks are walking away, so I guess it's time to end this video. I hope you've had a fun time learning about yaks and knacks. I did. This is our first yak sighting. It's so exciting to see the yaks. <laughs> Here comes the yak train.